Hello nail peeps and welcome back to Decorate Every Nail You Got. We are going to be looking at the October Manny By Me box and we're going to be doing the tutorial card. So we're going to be following this tutorial card, Sticky Fingers, enjoying the fall leaves of autumn and frolic through the hundred acre woods with Pooh and friends with this month's extra tasty nail art tutorial. Okay, I believe we're going to be making this one right here. And what I love about this particular um, tutorial, I'm going to back you up just a little bit, is that you can actually use the things that came with it. So it talks about just the colors that it came with it and straight up black, which is a very common color for people to have. It also came with the detail brush that you needed in order to do all the detail work here. So I was um, very happy to see that. In any event, let me remind you what was in the box. In the box came the tutorial card, the list of things that were inside. We had the two uh, polishes that were Winnie and Honey Pot, and they look like this. And Honey Pot was a very sparse, flaky, kind of copper color glitter. Um, yeah, you know what I just realized? We don't have lights on. Maybe lights would help. That's a little better. Okay, so, um, and then the color Winnie was like Winnie the Pooh because that's what's on our plates. Our plates, MXM089 and 090, were all Winnie the Pooh themed. We've got Pooh with honey pots. We've got all the different characters except for Tigger. Um, and also in this kit came an interchangeable um, cleanup slash detail brush. So this brush you can change to have a detail tip or you can change it to be more like a cleanup brush. It's got a cute little doodad on the end. We are gonna be using the detail brush for this particular one, so I will be using their detail brush, and I'm going to be using both colors. Now, I've already started with this nail, so I'm gonna be using the fake nails in order to um, do the tutorial. So, it says to apply a base coat to a clean prep nails and allow it to dry. I'm, I don't really need to do that because I'm gonna do it on this guy. It also says paint one coat of the honey pot over the nail, and I didn't, I, I didn't do that. I put two, but you can see that it's still very sparse. So here's my trick and the tip that they give you, which I love. It's a great tr tip. It says for an intense glitter effect, use a makeup sponge to sponge on the polish. So I do have a quarter of a makeup sponge that I have. There's a yucky side, but I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use the other side, and all I'm going to do is add more glitter to this nail. So I'm going, oh, this happens to me all the time. Just gotta pop it back on, pop it back off. There we go. Um, and you can see that the glitter really is very sparse. So I'm just gonna put some of this on here. And what the sponging does is it allows you to soak up the liquid and the sponge soaks up the liquid and it leaves the flakes behind, which is what we want. We want more flakies. I mean, I guess sometimes you want more flakies, sometimes you want less flakies. Anyway, I just put it on there, use my clean side, and I'm scooping it up. And you'll notice as I'm scooping, the liquid is starting to um, go into the sponge, and now I can place glitters wherever I want them. I'm just gonna put them all over the nail. And I can dab them wherever I like them. This is a not a gel polish, so I'm used to using gel polishes. So we want to make sure of a couple of things. Number one, make sure it's flat. So as you're dabbing, make sure that the pieces are laying down. And number two, um, you gotta work quickly. So that's definitely more flaky glittery than it was before. Just got another little dab on there. Let me make sure it's not too bumpy. I definitely don't want too bumpy, especially if you're using regular nail polish. So I'm just gonna kind of push those down as best I can. Now, this bad boy has got to dry before I do anything else. It's definitely way more flaky than it was before. I like this much better. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm all about more flakes is better flakes. You know what I mean? Also, since I quartered this, I don't really need it anymore. Usually I use one side, I use the other side, and then I just throw it away. Okie dokie, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna clean that up because I have to. Um, and then we're gonna continue on with our manicure tutorial for the October tutorial. 
Okay, it's been drying for a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side and start looking at the next steps on our tutorial. So the next steps say, with a black stamping polish, there is no better black than Straight Up Black by Maniology. So um, I've got my Straight Up Black, and it says we're gonna pick up the Honeycomb Heart Image on MXM 089. With a detail brush, we're gonna paint the complete design using Winnie, which is the other color that came in the box. Love, love, love that. And then we will let the design dry. Okay, MXM089 is right here, and it says we're gonna get this heart image right here. So we're gonna pick that up in straight up black. People, are you ready for it? My favorite part of getting a new plate. Ah, so satisfying. I'm not really sure what that is. Just extra glue, I guess. Okay, so I've got my monocle stamper that I'm gonna be using. I'm also going to be putting something underneath because, I mean, it's who I, I don't know why. There, I have a silicone mat. I don't know why I absolutely must have a little cuti cuticle round, a <laughs> cotton round underneath. So this straight up black is brand new. So I shook it up a little bit. Oh, I'm lying to you, clearly. Uh, I bet my daughter has been in here. <laughs> I had an old one that I was using a lot, a lot. Okay, I am gonna look. I see some extra images around the corner. I don't think they picked those up. No, they just did the heart. So, I also have my sticky stamper station close by, one of these um, sticky stamper sheets that they have. I love them. I don't wanna stamp without them anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna cover the image. And I shall be scraping it off and picking it up. I'm going to pick up in the opposite direction that I scrape. So scrape that way, pick up this way. Looks like a really good pickup. I am going to take my sticky stamper station though, and this is a very easy way to get off all the excess. I don't like it. I don't want it on my stuff, so it's got to go. Okay, now I have only this image to work with. I will be moving this stuff out of the way. And I'm picking up the detail brush that came with the kit, the interchangeable one. It is heavy, not heavy, but it's heavier on this side than it is on this side because of the bling. I'm curious to see how that makes it feel in the hand, but I mean, it's super cute and it's very compact. And when you put the, it's got this little lid thing on it so you can protect it. It looks like a little pin, isn't that cute? It's so adorable. Okay, on to the honey pot color. Not honey pot. That was honey pot. This is Winnie. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna put a dab on my silicone mat. And then maybe two dabs. And then I'm going to be painting the whole image. Man, it's nice when you get to paint the whole image because you don't have to worry about all the little fine details. Just don't go out of the lines, right? It looks, oh, I forgot when, this one looks kind of translucent when you put it on the, um, what was I gonna say? When you put it on the, uh, on the stamping plate. Is it dragging my black polish? It is a little bit, isn't it? I'm not used to that, so I guess I have to be kind of careful. Hmm, it did, look, it transferred, that black polish transferred. Maniology, your straight up black better be as good as it's always been. So what I need to make sure that I'm doing then is not brushing so much as dabbing. Yeah, it's just really, I can't tell what I've done now. So what I'm gonna do is clean off my brush and I'm gonna put some more of that Winnie color down and make sure it's, make sure I can do it without dragging that black through. Schnikes. I don't think I've ever had my straight up black do that before. Okay. There we go, it's better. When I'm dabbing, it's much better. Uh-oh, I think I've already gone over the lines, people. I mean, did we put it past me? I'm old, I can't see. Just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. 
and I'll flip this guy over in a minute just to see kind of how we're looking. Definitely did a better job down here. I definitely drug that black paint around a little bit up there. It still doesn't look bad. That upper corner right up there is probably the worst. And I think it needs maybe less, just a little bit more polish on it. Because I drug it so much. And it looks like I need to do more on this line right here. However, when I turn it over, hmm, I still see the, I better put a little bit more just to make myself happy. I hope I'm not out of focus. Okay. Okay, that's definitely gonna have to dry. So the draw bit back to doing that um, kind of dab method is usually you get a little bit more paint on there than you want. So we're gonna have to let it dry for quite a bit. So we wanna make sure all this is dry, we wanna make sure our nail is dry, and then we shall move on to the next step. I'm gonna wait probably at least 10 minutes, okay? And then I'll be back with you. Okay, those things have been drying for about 15 minutes. I played a Tetris game, what can I say? And let's go back to our tutorial card. It looks like now we are going to, um, we've already done this, right? We're going to apply a thin, even coat of sticky base to the nail and wait about 45 seconds till the surface is lightly tacky. Stamp the design onto your nail. Use a cleanup brush and acetone to remove any excess polish. Apply a smudge-free top coat to protect the design. So I'm gonna leave that down here so I can kind of refer to it. That was a lot of instructions in one. Um, I don't love the sticky base coat. I still haven't bought another one for all of you who love it. I think I just got like one of the first formulas that they did and it wasn't perfect. So instead, what I like to use is, if I can find it, I'll be back in a minute, I gotta find it. Okay, what I like to use instead is their foil glue. It's really awesome, it's excellente, and I don't have to stop at 45 seconds. It's pretty thick, but it's not overwhelming, bleh, overwhelmingly thick, um, but it does, you have to be careful about how much you put on. You don't want to put on a lot. Um, you just need a little bit of this and just make sure that it gets on just a little bit. And then it again, it has to dry for about a full minute before you put anything on it. The nice thing about the foil glue is there's not a window where it's gonna work and, and not work. I've heard from other people that the sticky base does stay sticky now, which is great, um, because that's really what I like about the foil glue is I don't have to worry about, oh, it's been exactly 45 seconds, and then it's still not working, you know, because I applied too thick of a layer. I'm kind of heavy-handed, and I do that. <laughs> so timing usually doesn't work with that kind of thing. Okay, I do want to make sure that that is nice, and like you'll see it's transparent. You can't really see it. I want to make sure that that is sticky when I touch it, and right now it's wet. So I'm going to give it some time to dry. Okay, that's definitely been about a minute, minute and a half, two minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna stamp the design onto the nail. Here we go, this is the moment of truth. So let's line it up. I want it right in the middle. I hope I did a good job of lining everything up. And I kinda wiggle to make sure that everything gets off of there correctly. You guys, that is really cute. That is a really amazing tutorial, honestly. The honey pot color with the copper flakes just really works well with the Winnie color. I really wish I hadn't messed that up, but I mean, I did. Oh well. It's so cute. Okay, the colors go well together. It's very Winnie the Pooh, it's, it's cute. Now it says to use a cleanup brush and acetone to remove any excess polish. Just remember, um, look at that. I did not even notice that Maniology stamp on there before. That's really pretty. I love it when I, it says Maniology on stuff. Just as a reminder, if you needed to clean up your nail, you could interchange. You could put your acetone on there and then you could clean up around your, around your cuticle area. So, um, now, after we do that, we're gonna apply a smudge-free top coat so that we can protect our design. All right, I've got my smudge-free top coat from Maniology. 
and I will, I always apply too thick. I would rather apply two layers than to apply too thick. Oh, here we go again. I still haven't glued this down. One of these days, one of these days I'll learn. Okay, so I'm gonna brush off the excess. I'm just going to try not to go crazy. Okay. That is a pretty design. They did well on this tutorial for sure. For show, for show. Okay, let me put that next to. So as a reminder, the other nails that they created, that was just how to do that one. These are the other nails that they kind of had that went with it, the little honey pots and the Pooh Bear. I think the colors go well together. I do like the gold, um, the copper flakies and honey pot. Uh, and the Winnie is a really good yellow, just a really good basic yellow. Okay, peeps. Um, that's it for this tutorial. That one was quick. It was satisfying for me because um, it was all the things that you needed were in it without, I mean, with the exception of the sticky base and the, what's this called? <laughs> Smudge free top coat and the black stamping polish. But these are like classic things that you should have in your collection anyway. So if you're a stamper, that's one of the first things I needed was black. Okay, um, people, if you like Maniology as much as I like Maniology, you might want to use my code to get yourself 10% off of your order. Go to their website, maniology.com. Use the code GrooveMama. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you want. Get yourself 10% off of your order, and um, maybe you can be a lover of Maniology just like me. <laughs> okay, peeps, until we meet again, I hope you decorate every nail you got. Bye!